The Common Practical Assessment Criteria, or CPAC, for A-level physics practicals requires that you, the teacher, must observe your students identifying practical issues and making adjustments where necessary, and identifying and controlling significant quantitative variables where applicable, and planning approaches to take account of variables that cannot readily be controlled. Now, there are only limited opportunities to do this in the core practicals at A-level, but I've got a suggestion that might help. Imagine presenting your students with this apparatus and challenging them to work out what it's for and to then use it to collect good quality data to support some of the physics they've been learning. You probably recognise this as the apparatus for investigating the force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. What I've got here is a copper wire in this circuit and that's suspended between these magna dual magnets stuck to a U-shaped metal bracket. In fact, I'm using an old fence bracket. That's sitting on this electronic balance, and I've bought this one for about a fiver on the internet because it gives a reading to a hundredth of a gram. Your students should be able to explain that when a current flows through this wire, it produces a magnetic field, and that magnetic field interacts with the field of the permanent magnets, producing a force which acts on both of them resulting in a reading on this balance. And I can demonstrate that with these permanent magnets. So if you look at this, if I introduce a field into this space, you can see that I get a reading on the scale. And the same sort of thing happens when there's a magnetic field around the current carrying wire. The challenge is for your students is to work out how to turn that reading in grams into a force in newtons, how to use the power supply and the variable resistor to get the range of readings they want and the number of readings they want. Another challenge is for them to notice the scale on this ammeter and why that's relevant, which is of course the heating effect of the current on the wire, to see how they handle that, to see how they think about the uncertainties and the measurements they're going to take, and ultimately how they're going to process the data to show that the force on the wire is proportional to the current through it. Now, treating this as a puzzle is a way of turning what could be a straightforward practical into a more challenging investigation, whilst at the same time giving you, the teacher, more opportunities to assess your students' practical skills. I hope you found that useful. In the description below, you'll find links to lots of other useful stuff like teacher's notes and worksheets. And please don't forget to subscribe so you can watch the other films in the series. OK, this doesn't feel weird at all.